Hello, I'm going to show how to make a heptagon, a seven-sided figure, and uh, using a compass and straight edge with, with SketchUp, which is basically the same thing as a compass and straight edge, a little more efficient, uh, as long as you don't use these angles and measurements, it's the same thing. So then at, at the end, I'll show how you can make a pattern tessellation like this, which is actually an Islamic arabesque tiling that's used in a lot of mosques, geometric art done in the Far East or Mid East. So let's start then. First, I'll use a circle. And over here, you can actually see the septagon. It's inscribed in the circle, and then later on, I deleted the parts of the circle. So we're going to do a, a method by way of estimating a septagon. And this, by the way, is a 14-point arrow, which is, is made from starting from the 7. So if I just, uh, let's move this out a little bit so I can work on it again, show you how it's done, or how I did it. So I'll just move this thing over like this. And I can start here. I'm looking from the top down. I'm looking at the camera view from the top. So I'm I'm in meters, so I'm just use one meter. One. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. And one of the techniques is to figure out some of the ways the rays should go through the this circle is by using congruent circles, also uh, meter in diameter. I mean meter and radius. Let's go from here to here. Then from here, the middle, and there. Okay, that already sets us up for equilateral triangles. So if we connect this point, this point, and then down to there. Now, you can always bisect this using the compass, but SketchUp tells us pretty much where the midpoint is on the circle, so I'm skipping that, you see? You could you could run and figure out you know the, the midpoint of this. That SketchUp kind of helps you figure that out, having to bisect that angle. Take care of that. Now I'll put a next equilateral triangle, start from here. back up so you can see I have like this star of David in there. I'm going to clean things up now so you can see where we're at. Okay so now I'll start with these, just get rid of these circles. And so I like that. Erase. This is the tedious part but it doesn't take too long. Okay then I'll use my eraser and just drag it around. Notice how the um, curve is made up of line segments, which you can control if you want it to be a more fine, detailed circle. You can just change the number of line segments. And here's the trick to connect this diagonal here and here. See? And then we'll do a circle, the center point here, down to here that. Now, just to check out the measurement, we can put a line here from here to here. Uh, diameter, another one here to here, and then I can do from one here to right here where they intersect. Okay, and let's just check and see a measurement. And it goes from here all the way over to here. And we can see down here at the lower right hand, here it's 51.2. And so if we take 51.2, 51.2, and we want seven sides, seven angles. So times seven, we're pretty close. So we're six tenths, 1.6 tenths off. So we can adjust this to a better, better estimate. So. Now I can get rid of uh, most of this for constructing this, this heptagon. Yep. 
I want to get rid of that. Okay, I try that. Okay, here, and we're almost done. You can see if you have more line segments, it'll be more and more accurate to the angle. But what I do is I just use a circle now to fit in between here. Get rid of this last circle. Nice. Okay, now again, you can bisect this angle using a compass. Uh, this should give us a pretty good idea of where it's this midpoint. See, so that helps us figure out that point right in the middle. And we go like that to the midpoint. So now what we can do is use that for a circle right there and bring it out to that point yeah you see that now I can use a set of circles to measure out the rest of the points yeah I'm gonna get rid of this so I don't duplicate it uh, for now I can redo it later with another estimate so I make a group out of this so that I can move it around. Let me make this so I can find the center point again. Okay. Now uh, I'll select this and I'll use this and I'll copy the circle. There's a midpoint. So basically I'll come up to here and then click it and then just move it over. Something like that. Okay, so I know I need seven of them and so I need I have two of them there so I should say six, six equals six all right well, that's pretty good and that's pretty much our on our way to uh, to estimating a, a heptagon um, so here we get from here I'll, I'll, I'll fill this in again now. All right. And so I can use this arch tool, or you can use the compass again. You know what I'm saying? And just get it back out. So there we have it. Now, you can see if I can connect these line segments, I'll have a pretty good polygon. Right. Oh, oh of seven slices, if you will. I'll just you go like this to here, not to here, right? And once we do that, we can connect the cords. And um, by the way, this design that's being shown there is actually a, a way of drawing a Poincaré hyperbolic function where parallel lines become um, curves. If they don't go through the main diagonal, they become curves and see come in at 90 degree angles to the edge. Uh, I have another lecture uh, if you'd like to look at it or a little a video about hyperbolic uh, disks if you'd like to check my other videos. Okay, so you can easily go like that and there you have, you can see it are Septagon forming up. And there we go. See that? There you have it. Now, just to show you, kind of try to do that design that I showed you earlier, that uh, 14 point star. Uh, the idea is that. Um, I have a, a, you know, a septagon here, so I should be able to make a 14 gone <laughs> uh, by using what I already have. So let's see if I got this. I can just, oh, I mean, uh, if I get rid of that, get rid of my circles. Okay, so 
let me just select this. And I'll trim this bit off here. We should be set. Okay. And uh, the rest, it, this is just clean up. So uh, curves are harder because it's made up of a bunch of different line segments. So that's why I usually select it first. Right. Circle back in later to do the the 14 point star. But there you have it to here. And, all right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you have it. Now I make a group of this. I know that I need to go to the halfway point here. If I'm going to put a second set, you know, second set of angles here, I'll show you what I mean. I'll make a, I'll make that a group. You see, so if uh, I take this now and make a copy of it, right there, uh, so I control and just go until it's the midway point of that. There you go. Now it looks like. You know, if you count them, then I should have 14, and these angles should be, you know, bisected. I've just bisected all of these angles again, you see, out two. Cool. And you get the idea. You can actually go all the way through. And let's try it from here to here. No. Go all the way down here to here. Yeah. And this one here up to here. There. Because it's part of a group. And there you have now 14. Okay. Good. All right. From here I progress forward to make this. I basically come halfway across here. Something like this, for example. I go from the center point up to, let's say, this point here. So that's why I'll do half of the the radius. If you recall, it was the radius of one. So I can make another circle from here uh, up to 8.5. five. Um, there, something like that for the inner circle. See, that's really just to keep its place. I, I don't need the circle, but it helps me to measure out for the next part. I'll remind you where I'm headed at now that I've got my septagon and now I've my tetragon. I'm going towards this. That gives us what wherever we're headed at. Uh huh. That's kind of nice. I think you can kind of see where it's it's going to come to. This part here is the beginning of this part. So it's a matter of doing one of these and and then copying it and making a copy. Then that pretty well finishes it off. I'll do one here so you can get the idea. Uh, so what I did is I actually just took the midpoint between here and here, like about right there, and then I, I came down two. So I went one, two. Okay. And, and the idea now is to go from here you can take this and continue through, actually, uh, you should head all the way down. Right. Yeah. And this guy is supposed to be the same thing. Uh, I bring it out from there. Get it undo. I'm going to go from here. And I bring it up to point right here, midpoint. 
Okay. See how that works? That's pretty neat. And let's see if I can get rid of that. Yep. A little bit of snap in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just select this this particular um, portion of the 14 point star. And let me. Right. So. See, I have a little thing right here. Okay, now I select what I want, like this, and this, this, and I'll make a uh, group. Then I'll make a copy of that from the center from the origin. Okay. I'll just move that out. There we go. And this will be the fastest way to clean it. Let's see. I like this. And now uh, come back with it. Make a make a copy through it. So I'll take this guy and select this corner and make a copy and just twirl it around. I like about right there. Okay, and then I can say, well. Uh, there were 14, and got two, so I go times. This X means at the lower right times, times, let's say 12. I go, alright, and then I probably can use one more. I go from here to here. Well, there you have it. Starting to form out pretty nice. And um, on this area here, you can see um, I'm going to get rid of the groups now. It's called Explode. And I can get rid of these um, part right there. That's really nice. Now, if you notice, there's an inscribed little, little stars here. And make it big. Uh, so you have a lot of cleanup here because we superimposed it. And I think you get the idea. But my point was in the there's another circle in here that formulates another star. You can see it formulating up here. See that? It should be another 14 point star and then the interior. Yeah, it's a lot of cleanup to be done, but you get the idea. Okay. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, and there you have it. The rest is clean up. It's pretty neat looking, actually. All right, uh, thanks. Take a look at my other uh, videos for other designs. Okay, thank you. Bye.